Was the plan before the game started, hey, Ryan, A-Rod's going to come up. I want you to peg him. I don't give a shit. Was that the plan? No, never, never uh, talked about with my, my coach. I, ne- I, ne- I was never told by one manager ever to hit anybody. You know, maybe you got to look. Mm-hmm. That was like earlier on. In my, I never, I never was told. Um, that was, that was my own doing. Me and my brothers having some cold beers, um, talking about how fun it would be to hit a rod at Fenway. My first time I faced him, and it just happened to be then. And they were like, "You'll never pay for beer in Boston the rest of your life." So it kind of started that way, and then everything that was going on and the suspension, which you know, right. I'm not, I'm the last person there to judge. I'm not, I wasn't judging. Then it became like, oh, you know, okay, now I'm going to, you know, go after the union because you're not taking care of defending me. And then it was like, really, dude, like at some point, like I've made plenty of mistakes and I've had to own up for those mistakes. They've cost me things, you know, and um, and, and it is what it is. And so I was just like, all right, let's go for it. And, you know, I didn't I didn't want to like, I'm not a headhunter and never have been. In my right. Whole you didn't really hit him that hard. I mean, it was just... no. And plus I hit him on the elbow pad. And right. If, exactly. If you're on all those steroids, why do you got to wear an elbow pad? But, um, you know, it was just like, you know, it was, it was fine. And then, you know, I get suspended for hitting a suspended guy. Right. <laughs> you know, so I, I took off. I had the best paid five day vacation I ever got. I went to Big Sur and the Malibu for four nights and had a blast and then met the team after Sunday night baseball in LA and it, and it was all great. And, um, yeah, I think there were a lot of people that were happy about it. Um, would I do it again? Probably. Um, you know, I wasn't judge, jury and executioner. I'm not out there trying to prove a point like, Oh, you did this. It was just more like the rivalry and all of it. I do remember this. There was one reporter. I don't remember his name. When I went to Yankee stadium, I thought there was going to be a bazillion reporters around my locker. I thought it was going to be a hoopla. And one guy said, listen, Ever since you hit Alex Rodriguez, the Yankees have the second best record in baseball. And I said, oh, well, who has the first best record in baseball? He said, well, you guys. I said, all right, is there any other questions? And he just laughed and kind of made his point. Like, sure, did I fire their team up? Great, awesome. If that's what it takes, then that's shame on you. We were already fired up. We were already hell bent on riding in duck boats in a parade. So to me, it didn't matter any, and it just right. brought our team even closer together. But, you know, the first pitch – you, I mean, it wasn't that even that hard that you threw, but you missed him. Like he, he, he kind of fell. It was way out, like way inside, but inside he, behind him. It went right behind his legs. Yeah, right. And the next two, I wasn't throwing at him. Right, right. I was just throwing inside because I'm like, I learned my lesson. As you can tell, later on in the game, I throw a fastball down and away, and he hits a home run straight away center field. So you know, it is what happened. Right, you know, and, and, and according yeah. to his uh, Instagram live with Pete Alonso, he said he wanted to hit your forehead. <laughs> and so case in point, steroids work because all he wanted to do was hit a line drive back up the middle and instead it went over the fence. Right. I mean, you know, they work. <laughs> it worked, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So, okay, so now. It's all good. You know, A-Rod's doing great. He's crushing it on ESPN and Fox and, um, you know, it doesn't seem too hard done by it all and no, we got the, a World Series out of it. But, but here's the thing. Here's, here's, here's another thing. Joe Girardi was going nuts, and then I go to Miami. Dad, I felt bad for. Dad, I go to Miami, and then you guys are like best friends down there because <laughs> you're like the radio host, right? To both of you guys for the Chicago Cubs. We were calling calling TV for the Cubs game that series, yeah. And like you know, that's the tough part. Like for me, I have a ton of respect for Joe, so that was like the tough part. It was the it was to sit there and watch how Joe do what a manager would do, and a good manager right. would do: stick up for his teammate, his team, and his players, no matter what. And he did that in that moment. Unfortunately, he got thrown out of the game and suspended. Right. Just not as many games as I got suspended for hitting a suspended guy. But did you ever run into a Rod? I mean, you're you're with the. MLB. I never have. No. No. Yeah, we just it just hasn't worked out. Yeah, maybe one of these days we'll we'll have a, a, a cup of coffee and a donut together or something. Yeah, it's history. Who gives yeah. a shit, right? Yeah, exa- exactly. <laughs> yeah. Baseball, man. Nobody got hurt. You know, like, right? Exactly. He, he, I didn't. Nobody got you know hurt or and and life goes on. Like I said, we're both in, in uh, doing well and in a good place.